Hello friends, welcome to Cracket CSE and in this series of database, today we will be discussing some previous year gate questions on SQL. So before starting this video, if you have not checked the videos of SQL, go and check the videos of SQL on the database playlist. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like that and press the notification icon also so that you can get an update whenever I am uploading any new video. Now let's start with the questions. So this particular question came in gate 2020 that is last year. So what was given? Consider a relational database containing the following schema. So these three schemas was given and he told that the primary key of each table is indicated by underlining the constituent field. So the primary key has been represented by underlining the fields right and this is a query given and in return what he asked that the number of rows returned by this particular query when it is applied on this table will be 4 5 0 or 2 so we have to find out what will be the number of rows that will be returned by this particular query so these are the three tables like catalog suppliers and part and we have to apply this particular query so by observing the query you can find out that this query is a nested query because we are having a query within the query and this particular nested query is independent nested query because there is no relation between this inner query and the outer query and I already told you that in independent nested query we have to execute the inner query first then we will be going to the outer query because the execution order is bottom to top so this would be considered as bottom and the outer query has been considered as top so first of all let's try to solve this inner query so what this inner query says that select average cost from catalog where p number what is the p number this is the p number which is part number is equals to p4 that means we have to deal with the p4 and group by the p number so we know that first of all we need to start from the from in the execution order so from catalog that means we got to know that we have to take values from catalog now we have to make sure that this particular condition is satisfied that is p number is equals to p4 so here you can see that the p number is p4 at two different places now we have to group them by p4 and if i group them in p4 it will be p4 uh, 200 p4 250 this is how we can group we can group this p4 values in one particular group now we have to find out the average cost what is the cost this is the cost and this is the p number we have to find out the average cost for this p4 group so if you find out the average cost which is 200 plus 250 by 2 it will be 225 that means this particular inner query is returning a value which is 225 so this particular condition became cost has to be equal to uh, sorry greater than 225 now the actual query is select as number and as name from supplier as s catalog as c where supplier serial number is equals to catalog serial number and the cost is greater than 225 so this has been resolved into a particular value now we have to perform the join operation and this is the join condition given if there is a comma that means it is a cartesian product but this condition is given that means we can treat it as a join so we have to make sure that supplier dot serial number is equals to cost dot sorry catalog dot serial number so this is catalog dot serial number s1 and this is supplier dot serial number s1 so this s1 and s1 is same so if this is same then we have to check for the second query that is cost has to be greater than 225 now you, if you check here whether the cost is greater than 225 no that means this cannot be in the result go to the second row of catalog this s1 here also the cost is not 225 go to the second one s1 is equals to s1 but the cost is not to greater than 225 so I skip this also now I came to s2 and here I make I have to make sure that the serial number is equal to so this is not equal s2 is not equal to s1 so we are going to the next row of supply s2 is equals to s2 now I have to make sure the cost here the cost is not greater than 225 that means it cannot be in the result 
now go to the second row next row s2 here the cost is greater than 225 that is this particular row so this particular row will be returned so this is the one row next we have to check for the third one so if i go to this p3 right if i go to this p3 sorry this s3 now here S3 is not equals to S2, so I have to go to the next row of supply table that is S3. So this S3 and S3 is same. Now I have to check the cost. So here you can see that cost is 250, which is greater than 225. So this one is included in result. Similarly, check for the next record. This one cannot be included in result because 150 is less than 225. Similarly, for this S3. This will be in result because the value is 300 and similarly this S3 this will be in result because the value is 250. So a number of rows returned by the above query is 4 because these 4 records these 4 rows will be returned by the above query. So the right answer is 4 for this particular question. So this is the question of Kate 2020. Now let's discuss another question which came in Gate 2019. See? This particular question came in gate 2019 where it is given that the, our relational schema contains two tables strength and performance as shown. So these are the two tables which was given and here some information was given like the primary key of the student table is roll number. So the primary key of this student table is this roll number. For the performance table the columns roll number and subject code together forms the primary key that means these roll number and subject code together is forming a key primary key so we have to run this particular query and again we have to find out the number of rows returned by the above query so this was a numerical data type question so see here i have to make sure that this comma is a cartesian product and the condition which was given as that p marks has to be greater than 84 so first of all I went to this from and I got to know that I have to extract the information from student and performance. So this was the first one in the case. Then I have to go to the second one where P marks has to be greater than 84. So we have to include only those records in the cross product where the P marks is greater than 84. And here you can see that in performance that is P marks only one record fails the condition which is 80 so this particular record 3c80 will not be included in the result so now next what i have to do next i will be going in this group by that means third in the order so group by student name so if i perform the cross product this particular amit will be mapped with rest of the records of the performance table similarly this priya will be mapped with all these five values similarly this Vineet record will be mapped with five values so here i am having five values here also i am having five values so the cross product will give me the five into five that means 25 records if i form the cross product so after cross product i have 25 records i have to group them by student name and if i group them by student name there will be a group of amit which will be having five record another group of priya which will be having five records same five records similarly there will be five different groups of five different names from that particular table i have to select the student name and sum of p marks so what will be the student name amit and p marks is we have to sum up all these marks so whatever the marks it will be you can just sum it up it will be around 425 i think if i'm not wrong so doesn't matter see how many rows will be returned amit along with this sum next priya along with this sum next vineet along with this sum rohan along with this sum and smita along with this sum so we will be having five rows returned by this above sql query so the correct answer will be five for this particular question also, you can make sure one thing that if you try to find out a trick to answer this particular question, how you can find out? See, they are grouping by student and selecting the student name. So you can check that is there any name common? So you can see that there is no name common. That means these five names should be in result. So you can directly say that the answer would be five 
बट इट्स बेटर टू एग्जीक्यूट द क्वेरी बिकॉज इन सम केसेज द आंसर मे वेरीज सो दैट्स हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ रोज रिटर्न बाय द अब एस क्यूल query and one more thing that in these gate questions they are quite lengthy when you see it but they are very easy if you try to solve this out you will be getting answer in few seconds only uh, here in the video it is taking time because i'm trying to explain it to you right so you can see that this particular information which is given here is not relevant to this particular question because we haven't used any information from this similarly in the previous question that we discussed this particular complete table was given to extend the length this is the unnecessary information right so do not bother about the length of the particular question do not consider the length it already has to you just need to take care of what is the important part of what is the important data that have to take care of right so these are the very simple question you can easily answer these questions now there is one more question which is from the join this particular question so this particular question came in gate cs 2018 so i discussed a question of 2020 i discussed a question of 2019 this is a question of 2018 so by these pattern you can see that every year there is one guaranteed question from this sql chapter so must go through these sql playlist the complete playlist has been updated in the database so you can check all the videos on sql along with this previous year get questions so in this particular question it is given that consider the following two tables which are the two tables books and stock right and four queries in sql so there are these four queries given in the question and what they have asking they ask that which one of these queries above is certain to have an output that is superset of the output of the other three queries that means he is asking that among all these four four query which one which one query will be having the values or the records of all other query that means which particular query will be behaving as a superset for all the rest of the three queries so here you can uh, uh, observe one thing that in query 1 select book number book isbn as copies from book b inner join here you can observe one thing that here i am using inner join so if you similarly check the pattern for all these four queries you will be observing that i am talking about the joins only and if you got to observe this particular thing then this question is solved because we know that inner join left outer join and right outer join will be having less number of record and and we can say that they will not be having the complete records while full outer join always takes care of the common records as well as the records which are left in the left hand side table and the records which are left in the right hand side table so this will be having the records as common ones plus left table records plus right table records so this will be having all these three here they will be taking care of common ones and right hand side records in the left outer join they will be taking care of common ones and the left side tables record the left out records of the left table and inner join they will be taking about they will taking care of only the common objects so you can easily find out that this full outer join will be behaving as a superset for all these three queries so the simply the answer is query 4 there was one question in gate 2017 also in which they gave you a table about some goals Goal, uh, goals with respect to the countries, right? So there we find there they asked you to find out the number of rows on the basis of a particular SQL query. So do not forget to uh, practice these kind of questions. SQL SQL will guaranteed give you some marks either two, three, or one. There this is not a uh, foundation. They can give you the question for any marks, but. there will be definitely a question from this sql chapter so please watch these videos and try to practice more of these practice questions and one more thing that if you are not having an idea that from where you have to get these previous year good questions 
I will be mentioning few websites on my Facebook page. So you can go to my Facebook page or Facebook group to get the content related to the gate. So I will be periodically updating or periodically posting some uh, posts related to the gate strategy. So if you have not any idea that from where you can join my group, I will be putting the link in the description. So you can uh, you can go to through those links in the description to connect with me on the Facebook page and Facebook group and try to practice more of these gate questions and in case if you are facing any problem in any of these gate questions you can directly post them onto the group either I or some other student will be definitely helping you out with the difficulties that you are facing in the solving of gate problem. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe the channel and press the notification icon for the latest update like this video if the, if you found it useful comment your opinion in the feedback uh, in the comment box and provide your feedback in the comment box and if you want to see more such uh, videos like previous year gate questions mention in the uh, mention in the comment box that from uh, for which particular subject you want to have these kind of videos so thank you very much for watching keep supporting keep learning have a great day